What's up everybody? Tindo here. With me I've got Hannah with a silent cue. And we did a whole lot today. We went thrifting of course, so stick around for that. Check out all the video games that I bought and some of the clothes that maybe Hannah bought. Also, we got a mail time today. Somebody sent in another package. Lots of exciting stuff going on today. Check this out. What do you have there? Packages. So where are we going? Post office. How many are there? Um, eight, maybe. It's not bad. I can't count. I don't know. All that sold yesterday? Uh, over the weekend, so two days. Doesn't look too bad. No, I hope it's a short line. Hannah's gonna go into the post office and drop off some clothes that we sold online. I'm gonna go check the P.O. box. I love going to the post office because usually it's like Christmas. Yay! Merry Christmas! This package is from Scott in Florida. Does that name sound familiar to you? It does. Scott, are you sending me more things? I don't know, this might be somebody different. Uh, we'll have to wait till later to find out. So stick around to the end and figure out if this is the same Scott or a different Scott and also figure out what's in here. I have no idea. I can't tell, the shape is actually weird. I can't wait. While we were away on our cross country trip, I misplaced all of our car chargers. So it's time for a trip to Walmart to get some more. Hopefully they're not too expensive. Maybe they'll be cheaper at the dollar store. Maybe, yeah. Art. Dollar store. This is a really small Walmart, so they don't always really have everything that I'm looking for, but I still look at the toys anyways, just in case. I've never seen these Minecraft toys before. Much want. Bees. World of simulators. Farmer simulator. First real test, let's see if this thing even works. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't work at all. These are real cheap. It might not last more than a few days. I probably could have walked into the dollar store next door and got this for a few dollars cheaper. It had been the exact same thing with a different label printed on it, but I've hardwired these cigarette lighters to stay charging even when the car is off. Uh, it works, it works for now. It's already one of those chargers you've got to leave laying in the right position so it'll charge. But that's, that's what you pay for. You get what you pay for. There's a really funny reason as to why we needed these cheap chargers today, specifically right now. And that's because we had about 200 phone chargers that we blew through. Now that's gonna sound crazy, but there's a couple things to talk about. A, where did we get 200 iPhone chargers? Well, a lot of you probably think, oh, you probably got them at the thrift store somehow or found them at the bins. No, there's a really ridiculous story as to how we ended up with a couple hundred iPhone chargers. What happened was, my grandmother got sick a couple years ago, and I went home. Uh, you know, it, I just, in the middle of the night, I flew home, she had had an aneurysm, it was a pretty bad time. She's okay now, she's doing well, but I get home, and uh, I walk into her house, and there's just this pile of packages. Just like the package we just got. It looks just like that. It looks just like that manila envelope. <laughs> and and I opened one of them, and there's like 10 iPhone chargers in a, in a nice presentable baggie in there, like the, for sale, like you'd buy off Amazon. And I was like, what the heck? I was, and I asked Granny once she was, you know, conscious again, where these iPhone chargers came from. My dad was like, they just keep sending them. I can't figure out where they're coming from. And I went and got one of the bags and looked it up and Googled the address. And it was like a P.O. box, couldn't figure it out. And then uh, I left for a job for a few weeks and came back and there were twice as many. Okay, there was twice as many. There was, by this point, like, like, like a couple hundred iPhone chargers at this point. And then I leave for six months for a job and I come back and they've got just, I can't, an innumerable amount, okay, of iPhone chargers in packages. 
And they, of course, they, they do have iPhones, so they opened one, they used them. And I, I tried to push them on it. I was like, did you guys try to order an iPhone cable and mess up and type in the wrong number? And they're like, no, we've never ordered anything online, which is true. They just, they're not online people. And so they came for a little while and they finally stopped coming. I guess whoever made the mistake stopped trying. I don't know what was going on. But I ended up with more than a couple hundred of them and I gave tons of them away to people I knew. Everybody I knew that had an iPhone got an iPhone charger. And uh, it was so funny because immediately everyone that I gave one to was like, this iPhone charger you gave me is crap. Why are you giving me this garbage? I was like, well, I'm just... I'm sorry. I just they, I, I told all these people this story, and everyone thought it was hilarious. And I still just think it was the funniest thing. Like, just these iPhone chargers. Such a random thing showing up out of the blue. And so, I kept 100, 200 of them. I don't even know how many. And we blew through them. I mean, they last two or three days. We throw them away. And uh, so, yeah, the last one of them died today. It's a, it's a new era. We're moving on to, to new chargers, to new iPhone chargers. And, of course, I bought the cheap ones just prolonging the problem that I already have. I should go buy a $40 charger, but here we are. I'll, uh, I'll have to let you know maybe in the future how long this one lasts. If you ever wondered what I do for my big girl job, we are here today because I had a little trouble getting some packages shipped yesterday because they are too big and too heavy for me to lift. So Tendo is here today to help me get those off to FedEx. And while we're here, might as well show you around. Flexing on them. <laughs> it's constant. The phone's ringing even when the store's closed. That is huge. They are enormous. There's three of them and they're all really heavy. Those are huge. Well, before we carry them out, tell us what you do real quick. Um, I sell wedding dresses. So these are all really modern boho wedding dresses here in Scottsdale and super fun. Yeah, there's a lot of dresses here. It's a lot. It's two empty racks because that's where all of these were at. So I got to shift some things around and make it all back the way it was. So you're telling me that two of these racks of dresses, that's what that is in those boxes. There's a lot of poof in here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, let's see if I can even pick these up. God, we need a dolly or something. Hold on, if my drawers fall down, don't look at my butt. Oh, it is heavy. I said they were 50 pounds. I think they're more than 50 pounds. Oh, they're a little bit more than 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> they're just as wide as the door, too. <laughs> I'm dropping it. It's so heavy. How am I going to do this? I don't know. This is the biggest one though, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Whew. All right, well, the hard part's out of the way. This is one of the fancier Goodwills in town, and you can tell because it has sliding doors. It's one of two Goodwills in town that I can think of that has fancy sliding doors on the front of it. Watch. Oh, it's like magic. Nothing in the lockbox. Electronic section. Nothing but keyboards. Wii titles. All stuff I already have. World of Warcraft. Nerf, I don't have that one. What else? Sniper. No manual. PlayStation games. It's a big no. I got a special request from my brother that his son wanted to be a Red Power Ranger for Halloween. Asked if I could look for some Power Ranger weapons. I told him, you know, 
We probably won't be able to find the one specific to his costume, but you know, who exactly is gonna notice a Power Ranger weapon from a previous generation? I mean, a lot of them look the same anyway, so not having any luck right now, but lol, too bad he wasn't being a Ninja Turtle. He's all kind of want it, but I don't have room for it. I have spotted someone with a fresh card of media. Maybe there's some video games on there. Sealed copy. Gotta find Milo a Power Ranger sword. Challenge accepted. Sometimes I wish I was allowed to do whatever I want with a camera inside of a Goodwill. Because as we were checking out, the guy that was checking us out saw Hannah's Pink Floyd t-shirt and started telling us all these wild Pink Floyd concert stories where he'd went and seen those guys live and uh, it was a really cool story. Wish I could have caught it on camera, but it's kind of an awkward thing to take your camera out in a Goodwill and say, hey sir, look into this camera and say that story again. <laughs> Next up is the Savers. It's half off day at Savers right now, so I'm expecting to find some deals. Honestly, if I find that Power Ranger sword anywhere, it's probably going to be here at a Savers. They always have more of that kind of thing. Not seeing a lot right now. Ooh. Giant dice, that's wood. A bootleg Power Ranger, very nice. What is that? Or why is it? Okay. Uh, no Power Ranger stuff here. I'm gonna check the lockbox here. But they're usually a bit of a joke. That's not a joke, I'm buying that. I'm sorry for what I said, I take it back. That's crazy. There's a $40 Wii down there. A $30 one without a remote. Some interesting figures. I'm gonna have to look at those too. PSP game, that's been here for ages. Ooh, look at those Wii games. Oh, there's Mario Party. We're spending money today, boys. We're spending a lot of money today. Tetris down there too. Spending a bag of Wii peripherals, or maybe that goes with one of the Wiis. Um, this stack of Wii games, and then that bag of toys down there. Yeah, I'll buy that for sure. Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm good. Busy, dude. Beat up today, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting ready to. <laughs> Stay my eight hours. Hey, is there any way you can hold this till like 4 o'clock on my break? Yeah. You know? There's no way this is real, right? And it's half off day, so it's $5 Mario Party 8 and $5. Spyro. Look. Hi. Whoa! I love Mario Party. What about Spyro? I love Spyro too, but <laughs> we've already established that. So I'm definitely 
buying these for sure. I'm definitely gonna buy this other PlayStation 1 game. I've gotta see if I have the rest of these. I'm actually not sure about any of them. I know I don't have this one. And Battlefront I know I have, but it's also worth a few bucks, so I should probably buy it, but it's a little bit on the high side. And then the rest of these. Do I have them or do I not? Gotta check the spreadsheet. So I don't have this, but there's no disc in it. So rip on that one. I do have this and I do have this. I do have this, but I think, now the disc was there on that one. This one also didn't have its disc in it. And Battlefront, I'm torn on because sometimes these are worth a few bucks. Maybe the players or the greatest hits edition isn't worth as much. I don't know, I guess I need to look it up. But I've already got like three copies of it. Battlefront Greatest Hits can be had on eBay for like five to eight bucks, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that bad boy. But I'm leaving with some great stuff. I need this in my life. Much want. I have a mighty need! Yeah. I guess I should apologize for anything bad I've ever said about the lockbox in this Savers because I always complain about it because I don't know if I showed it on camera this time but there's an Xbox 360 in there marked for a hundred bucks and it's been there forever and some of the games that are in there have been there forever and they never mark them down but I guess I shouldn't complain because I showed up at the right time today I got some great stuff this copy of Mario Party 8 doesn't have its manual but it's okay because I've got an empty case with a manual for Mario Party 8 at home that I found at a Goodwill Benz without the disc so it's all coming together. Next up, we've got a Savers, but first check out these sick Naruto stickers. I'm super excited to go to this Savers because last time I was here, I bought a GameCube. Savers sale. A basket right inside the door. There's a few things here I don't have. I don't have this. I certainly don't have whatever this is. Look at these Pokemon cards, 130 bucks a binder. I don't even want to look at them. I don't want to know what's in there. Wow. Some games though, we're gonna have to look at those. I wanna see that bag of toys and then some video game stuff that's over here. Oh, it's 40 bucks. Okay, cool. Um, let me see these video games. And then when I'm done with those, the Pokemon cards. Yes, please. And then, let's see that other box of them as well. Dallas. Alright, I'll just throw in a bag for you and then um, once you go up to check out, suddenly he has me over in jewelry for Dallas. Awesome. Thank you very much. Right, you said you want to see that? Yeah. leopard jacket. <laughs> Is it nice? Yeah, it's fine. It's cheap. Half off that, so it's two bucks? Yep. Alright, there are no game cubes here, but answer me this. What is this? What is this thing? 
this rip-off aftermarket N64 controller. I almost want to buy it, but it's not worth it. It does feel good, though. You know, if I wasn't looking for this Power Ranger sword, I'd find 20 of them sitting here. You know that, right? I mean, I can picture the exact one in my head that I see 10 times a week. I'm just not seeing it right now. Dolphin, though. That's heavy. It weighs like five pounds. That's a stack of good stuff right there. Super happy about it. But I'm getting hungry, so we're going to go ahead and call this thrifting day done. Let's go eat some food. Hannah's favorite Hawaiian. Mm, what do you think? Looks super good. All right, guys, we're back home, and that was a pretty wild day. We're going to open this package up at the end. We figured out that this was sent from somebody who's already sent us a package. Uh, the same guy that sent me a replacement manual for a game that I love. That didn't have its manual so i can't tell what's in here it's uh it's kind of an odd shape i'm super excited to find out stick around to the end for that but let's talk about all the stuff that we bought hannah you bought some clothes just a few i bought some video games let's talk about your clothes first and then we'll talk about my video games i only got two things today because i was not really having a ton of luck with pricing it was either all a little bit too expensive or why is it that cheap so i got the why is it that cheap stuff which is this jacket it's a vintage 1980s uh faux fur cheetah print jacket pretty cool how much was it it was half off of three dollars <laughs> wow that's it's pretty crazy for two bucks super cheap yeah we could sell that for a pretty penny yeah the other thing i got was this 90s dress i've had a lot of 90s dresses on the channel um this one's got some embroidery detail somewhere here it is so it's just cute it's short for those of you who don't know who are watching the way that we pay for these wild adventures is we sell clothing and so if you're interested in that at all there's links below go check that out some pretty cool stuff over there we've got a lot of interesting pieces of clothing up for sale between both of our pages we've sold some pretty interesting stuff and we've got some pretty interesting stuff currently listed all right Two stacks of games. Very happy about this. Gonna go through it in no particular order. Uh, first, let's talk about the not video game stuff. I bought a couple gaming manuals. One for Halo 2, which is awesome because I think I have the gaming manuals for almost all of them, except for two. So that was a good find. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Very nice. Very happy to get my hands on those, especially for half off of four bucks, two dollars a piece. And they're in near perfect condition too. Those have not really been used much. All right. Perfect Dark. I know nothing about this game. Comment below. Should I play it? I love finding $5 N64 carts. Half off day at Savers is the best. $5 N64 carts that aren't sports titles. Sign me up. PlayStation 1. Uh, Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000. It's in a little bit of rough shape. I'm going to have to get a replacement case for it, but not bad for a couple bucks. <laughs> Babysitting Mama for the Wii. Oh, I, forgot, I don't know how I forgot about this. Mario Kart 8. Next up, Mario Party 8. It is missing the manual. But hold on just a sec. <laughs> what do I have here? Boom! Very happy about that. So, it took me a little while, but I now have Mario Party 8 complete. There it is. And... Got an extra case. This was, ooh, I don't know which was find of the day. Either Mario Party 8 or this. Greatest Hits Edition of Spyro. Oh my gosh. So happy about that. I could not believe it was in there. Uh, I couldn't believe it was just 10 bucks. So half off, I paid $5 for that bad boy. Thank you. And then, really random, but a sealed copy of Madden 25. I just bought it because it was sealed, but it was a couple bucks. Um, Nerf in Strike. And I'm pretty sure I have a game titled Nerf in Strike, but it doesn't have this cover. It might not be in Strike, the other one, but it was just a buck or two, so I bought it. And it might just be a different variation of the same game. I don't know. I also got another sealed game, an Xbox 360 Connect game, Dance Central 3. And another purple game, Connect Joyride. One of these days, I'll have all these purple games. There's a few of them. I don't know what this is. Imagine party babies with a Z. Why? Why? It's already a big Y, but then that Z on the end, man, it really knocks it home. 
I got not one, but two inbox. I felt like I got three. Maybe I put the other one back. Two inbox Sega Genesis games. Miss Pac-Man, let's go. I don't think I've ever brought two inbox Genesis games home in one day. And then the Bernstein Bears. Not Bernstein, Bernstein. Bernstein. Which reality are you from? <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, Google it. It's a, it's a real conspiracy. Very happy about those. Uh, forget everything I said. Those are fine of the day. I do not have enough inbox Sega Genesis games. Those are going on the shelf immediately. Very happy about that. And then last and probably least, the Jewel 3. I don't know. That might be a good game. I've never played it. All right, guys. It's mail time. I can't wait to see what is in here. It is from Scott from Florida. And if somehow two different Scots have mailed us something from Florida, well, what are the chances? I mean, I guess the chances are pretty good. There's probably like a quarter million Scots in Florida. I don't know. That's probably a little high. But uh, we threw away the other envelope and are not able to uh, cross-reference the last names. But I'm pretty sure it's the same dude. Because if it's two Scots from Florida sent us two separate things in the exact same kind of envelope with the same kind of postage, uh, we're, we're really lucky. All right. <laughs> Open this bad boy up, Hannah. Yeah! I think we're getting good at that. <laughs> All right, let's... I have no idea what this is. Hold on. It's in a plastic baggie. Oh, it's in a sandwich baggie. Okay. Oh, Trying to throw me off. All right, I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull it out and keep my eyes closed. Is it on camera? Mm-hmm. Bruh! <laughs> it's three of them! Dude, it's three Xbox demo discs. Ninja... Uh, Alias, are you kidding me? 007. Hold on a second. This guy is watching. <laughs> this guy is watching every second of every video. Let me grab a couple things real quick. And that is the kind of stack of games that I wish I could come home with every day. That's pretty wild. That's some good stuff. And especially for as cheap as we paid for it. I cannot wait to get this stuff filed away and put on the shelf. I need a bigger shelf of Sega Genesis games. I, just, I really do. I'm getting, a, I'm finally getting more and more N64 games that aren't sports titles. So I'm very happy to find that. Guys, leave us a comment below and let us know what your favorite thing that we got today was. Uh, maybe leave us a comment and let us know uh, if there's something here you think we should play. I'm always interested in playing the games that I buy that you guys suggest. I also am very interested in going live on Twitch and streaming some of these. So if you liked any of these titles and you'd like to come hang out while I play them live, uh, let me know. Because that could probably be a good time somehow. But that's it, guys. That's everything that we got. I hope you enjoyed the slightly longer video today, the slightly different format. We tried to throw some different stuff in. You know, we make videos every day, so we might as well do something a little bit different. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you liked it. Let us know if you hated it, I guess. Whatever. But also, guys, before you go, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that the next time we post a video like this, you'll get a notification and you can come and hang out with us then. But until then, guys, peace out.